So hello everyone, my name is Anjali and I'm third year BSMS student from Isaac Bhopal. So in this video, I'll tell you people regarding the eligibility, syllabus, exam pattern, how you have to prepare and at last how many seats are there. So and I'll give you the general overview when the applications will come and when the you know admissions will start. So yeah, this video will be very informational and it will be helpful for you. So uh, the eligibility criteria has been revised and that's why I'm making this video. So now, uh, as the eligibility says that second year droppers are also allowed. So people who have done their, you know, 12th in 2022, 2023 and the present year 2024, uh, all are allowed to take uh, admission in ISERS. And everyone should be Indian. And that is either they can be person of Indian origin or, you know, overseas citizen of India. So in short, you have to be Indian to apply for IAT, that is either aptitude test. And as it says that uh, your whatever from wherever you have done your 12th, it should be recognized from this Council of Boards of School Education in India. So you have your uh, degree should be recognized from this. And you must have three subjects minimum from PCMB, Physics, Chemistry, Maths and Biology. You can have PCMB, you can have PCB or you can have PCM. So minimum of three subjects is necessary and in aggregate that is in total you should have 60 percent marks so it doesn't mean that only in pcb you should have 60 percent or in pcm you should have 60 percent overall you must have 60 percent marks if you are general obc or ews whatever so and if you are sc st pwd then 55 percent marks in aggregate you should have so this is the eligibility criteria which has been revised and if your results have not come yet then you can apply but after your results you should fulfill the eligibility criteria then only you will be given admission even if you get the very good marks in iit and you do not follow the eligibility criteria then your marks are worthless so you'll not be getting admission even if you have very good marks in IIT. So, um, you know, fulfilling the eligibility criteria is very necessary. And people who are OBC, they generally, you know, click on OBC. But even if you are OBC, but your family income is more than 8 lakhs or whatever is there, the desired uh, income. So if it's above that, then you won't get OBC. I hope that you people know. So if you apply under OBC, then at the time of document verification, your admission will be cancelled on the spot. And if you have applied under OBC NCL and you are not able to produce that OBC NCL certificate of that year only. So you are applying in 2024, so your OBC certificate should be of 2024. So you should be able to obtain that certificate or else you will not be given admission. So and yeah. I, if your family income is more than 8 lakhs, then you have to apply under general. If you have OBC NCL certificate, then only you can apply under OBC NCL. So that's uh, the point which you should keep it in your mind. And uh, I think that your exams dates have been announced and it's on June 9 at 9 a.m. in the morning and your examination will be computer based. So all the best. And now ISERs only take admission through IAT, that is ISER aptitude test. No KVPY, no JE advance, only IAT, that is ISER aptitude test. And uh, I hope if you have given improvement in whatever courses, so better of two will be considered, that is uh, whatever is the better. For example, you have given improvement in biology then if your marks in the present year is lesser than your last year then no problem your last year marks will be considered so that's the case of improvement better of the two will be considered so and if you have done your diploma so if you have done your diploma of three years then your last year marks will be considered so i hope that i'm clear with this point so if you have you have been allotted the aggregate marks then your final year marks would be considered in case you are having in case you have done diploma so that's the and if you if your institute has given you grade a b c d then or cpi then your cpi will be converted to percentage so there is a rule which iit has given on its website that your percentage is equal to cgp or cpi whatever is there by maximum point scale into 100 for example you have obtained a cpi of 8 and maximum point scale is 10 then 8 by 10 into 100 
that is 80 percent so this is how you will calculate your percentage if you you are been allotted cpi and then there there are certain reservations so for sc 15 percent of seats are reserved for st 7.5 percent seats are reserved for obc ncl 27 percent seats are reserved and for obc ncl you should produce a certificate of being obc ncl of 24 to 25 year only and for pwd 5 percent seats are reserved for kashmiri migrants three seats per eyes are reserved and for ews category 10 percent of the seats are reserved so this is the revised eligibility criteria which i have told you people and then i'll tell you the syllabus as iit has declared that few days ago only and i informed you people also so your uh, syllabus will be rationalized so your rationalized syllabus of ncrt will be followed so it it has stated that iit will broadly follow the revised rationalized ncrt syllabus of 23 24 year so according to my interpretation as it has said that it will broadly follow that means it will mainly follow so that doesn't mean that it will precisely follow that syllabus yeah broadly it will follow but not precisely because if it had to be precise then it would have said that it will follow precisely or they would not have used the term broadly broadly means only like upper upper say they'll follow maximum they'll follow the rationalized syllabus so yeah your first attention should be towards the rationalized ncrt syllabus you people must have uh, read those because that's what new ncrt you people are following now so i hope that it's clear and the time and date already i have told you it's 9 june at 9 am and yeah i hope that you people are aware of exam pattern so earlier iat used to take uh, 180 marks paper at my time but now it's of 240 marks why because earlier my grading scheme was plus three and minus one for all correct questions you were awarded plus three marks but now for every question you are awarded plus four marks so there are 15 questions in each section 15 physics 15 chemistry 15 maths and 15 biology so and 15 questions so 15 into 4 so 60 questions are there and then per question is of uh, 4 marks so 60 into 4 24 so 240 marks total so that's the exam pattern so avoid doing negative mark so that will be good for you and uh, then yeah you will be given your rank list after you give your examination and not everyone will get rank so if you are given rank that doesn't mean that your admission is confirmed in either uh, not everyone will get rank but whoever is getting rank that doesn't confirm your admission to either so only few people according to their rank will be given admission and that cutoff will be you know that will come and you will find you have to apply on that basis it, it is a detailed you know procedure i'll tell you people uh, the counseling i'll tell you about the counseling experience in later videos so first at least clear iit so yeah the i hope that you people know that the application will come on first april it's the tentative date and you can apply till 13th may and then there will be a correction window so you can do correction from 16th 17th may and then your hall ticket will come by june 1 so this is the overview and now i'll tell you about the seats that how much seats are there so in either Bahampur 180 seats are there in either tirupati 275 seats are there in either tiruvananthapuram 320 seats either mohali 250 seats Aizar Kolkata 250 seats, Aizar Pune 288 seats and now Aizar Bhopal the biggest Aizar. So 255 seats in Natural Sciences, 84 seats in Engineering Sciences and 31 seats in Economics. So in total you have 1933 seats in all the Aizars. And of course I have told you about the reservations. So reservations are also there. So prepare accordingly. Now competition will of course increase because second year droppers are allowed now so and j advance is also not there so everyone will apply through iat only and now how to prepare so i have already made a video regarding preparation but here i'll just summarize it so choose your appropriate teacher or whatever from whoever you were being taught just follow that teacher only so for every subject uh, see the one shot lectures which are available on youtube and there are many great teachers so do not restrict yourself to a course for example i have done biology from garima goel ma'am because at that time she was very active and also vipin sarma vipin sarma one shot lectures so you can do biology from them 
एन सी आर टी हाईलाइट सीरीज और एन सी आर टी वन शॉट जस्ट टाइप द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर एंड एन सी आर टी वन शॉट यूल गेट मैनी वीडियोज एंड यू कैन फॉलो वन टीचर एंड देन कीप फॉलोइंग दैट टीचर ओनली सो डू द वन शॉट कंप्लीट द वन शॉट एंड देन डू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन बैंक वॉट एवर क्वेश्चन बैंक यू आर फॉलोइंग जस्ट फॉलो दैट सो फॉर बायोलॉजी केमिस्ट्री एंड फिजिक्स एंड मैथ्स फॉर एवरी थिंग यू कैन डू लाइक दिस जस्ट सी द वन शॉट एंड देन क्वेश्चन सी द वन शॉट एंड देन क्वेश्चन फॉर एन सी आर टी ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एंड इन ऑर्गेनिक एंड बायोलॉजी ऑर्गेनिक इन ऑर्गेनिक एंड बायोलॉजी रीड द एन सी आर टी रीड द एन सी आर टी सी वन शॉट एंड डू क्वेश्चन बिकॉज दे आर ऑल मेमरी बेस्ड एंड फॉर फिजिक्स एंड फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री एंड मैथ्स प्रैक्टिस ऑफकोर्स इवन इफ यू डू नॉट सी वन शॉट यू जस्ट सी द शॉर्ट नोट्स फॉर वट एवर यू मस्ट हैव प्रिपेयर ना ड्यूरिंग यूर प्रिपरेशन सो सी दैट एंड देन डू क्वेश्चन सो दैट विल हेल्प यू पीपल एंड यू कैन सी वन शॉट ऑल्सो एंड देन डू क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज दैटेजी विच आई फॉलो ड्यूरिंग माई प्रिपरेशन एंड इट हेल्प मी अ लॉट सो यू कैन डू लाइक दिस एंड पर डे कंप्लीट थ्री चैप्टर्स बिकॉज दैट्स द नेसेसिटी नाउ बिकॉज वेरी few time is left and people who are pcb students and they have not touched maths so don't touch maths now because uh, this is not the time to touch maths you should have done your maths from starting only because maths needs a core uh, you know basic understanding of that you have not read maths since 2 years then how will you do maths in 3 months it's not possible but pcm students who have not touched biology you should touch biology because and doing chapters few chapters of biology is not tough i have told what are the chapters which pcm students can do in biology so that those chapters are just general chapters so you should do them i'll pin that link in you know comment section so this this is my honest suggestion to you people now it depends on you all uh, you people are mature enough you people can decide whatever is good or bad for you so i hope that this video was informational i made this video after taking your live session only so whatever i thought that you people are having most of the doubts so i just summarized here so that's all for today i hope that this video helped you people and it cleared your doubts so remember now second year droppers are allowed so yeah prepare accordingly all the best